For a challenge, I wanted to survive in Raven Creek, the most dangerous and zombie-infested city in all of Project Zomboid. I recruited Ghoul King to help me on this dangerous mission, and as highly trained mercenary soldiers, our goal was to reach and secure five key checkpoints on the map. East Police Station, South Containment Zone, the Old Prison, Downtown Police Station, and Raven Creek General Hospital. There was one slight problem though, there were thousands of zombies between us and our objectives. Now relax, crack open a cold one, and let's tackle one problem at a time. You see, first, we actually had to get into the city. We roll up to the checkpoint and like true American heroes, we instantly started blasting. Dude, I love a good shotgun. Yeah, it is amazing. But this was Raven Creek, so the zombie horde, even here in the outskirts, was thicker than your average anime girl's ties. We fought for our lives, mowing down the undead soldiers until there was enough of a break in their assault for Ghoul to wheel our truck through the gates. Inside, the situation wasn't much better, but we were both trained professionals, and we knew that size of the horde is not important, it's what you do with it that really matters, so we steeled ourselves and pushed deep to penetrate their defenses. But then we realized the highway was inaccessible. Could I actually go around? and hit that first hole in the fence with a car. We actually can get there with a car right now. So we tried going around. Ooh, this is uh, its a bit rough, but uh, I believe in you. I believe in you. I don't think we can make this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this. Trust me. Because if we get jammed up in here, it is <laughs> not good. <laughs> Like, <laughs> just putting that out there. Of course, Ghoul was right to be skeptical of my plan, and when I started to shoot in the forest, the trees came to life. So, that attempt failed, and we had to backtrack again. As we didn't have a sledgehammer with us, only one thing remained, to cross the fence on foot. We loaded ourselves with as much ammo as we could possibly carry, and then Ghoul gave us the inspirational speech of a lifetime. There is an opening in the fence. Uh-huh. And there are sprinters. Uh-huh. And it's getting ready to turn nighttime. Uh-huh. And it's raining. Uh-huh. What right, are you? As long as we, what are you as trying long as to we're say? Aware of all this. <laughs> so we attached a sheet rope and off we went into the great unknown. How does it look down there? Don't go! Don't go! Don't! Go. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> we pushed up the highway throughout the dark, rainy night, checking cars for keys and gasoline, and fighting the ever-present zombies. I got some extra. Um, oh, soda sprinter! Cans. Ah, Jesus. God, that was my face. <laughs> Fuck, I might have shit myself on that one. <laughs> then we made it to the burn hole in the fence and all hell broke loose. The walking dead were attracted to the siren song of our shotguns, singing them the serenade of their people. Slowly their numbers dwindled and we pushed ahead, now with the fear of zombies at our back, but actually, we were more concerned with the mismatch in our debriefing. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get in here without a sledge. Up ahead? No, we can. We can. We can? I know you can't go with to. a car. Yeah, the, the tunnel the tunnel's open. The tunnel's open, but in the middle there's mm -hmm. like a barricade. It was 2 in the morning when we finally made it inside, and it turned out I was right. The tunnel was blocked, but luckily the zombies opened a new path for us. Oh, uh, they broke the door behind, so we don't need a key. <laughs> Wait, did they break? Those doors aren't supposed to break. Well, you tell them that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll remind them. We entered the corridors of death and slowly pushed through with plenty of sketchy moments. Ah, mother! I mean, I'm de I definitely shot you there. No sledge. Uh, get ready, get ready. It's a lot. Ooh. Not sure if coming through around that corner. But yeah, a ton just started coming. I don't know. Ah, run! Love it when they are just quietly sitting behind the door. <laughs> It's like a hundred just waiting for you to come around the corner. But like true pros, we proceeded one step at a time, always watching each other's back until we finally made it through and back on the highway. We then looted the checkpoint, grabbing some medical supplies and ammo before we were ready to move on. It was now morning, but while the darkness retreated, the rain was still around. And also, so were the zombies, who started causing additional issues now that we were almost in the city proper. Ooh, oh, alarm! Shit. An alarm. <laughs> alarm and <in> Raven Creek. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm actually a little hesitant to go loud on this. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we got alarms ringing, so a shotgun is it's not going to be so bad. Famous last words. Yeah, I mean, it's only Raven Creek, right? What could possibly go wrong? We made it to the last checkpoint before Raven Creek as alarms continued to attract the horse to us. The alarms are not loud at all. Right here. This is gonna be happening through the whole city. 
Oh, absolutely. But we both had plenty of military training, and we funneled the hordes into tight quarters where our superior, not rotten monkey brains, prevailed upon them once again. Well, I need to kill some of them in there just so I can get the key. It's the armory upstairs. Uh, behind ah, you? Fuck off. We used the killing ground to our advantage, and I actually reached level 7 in shooting while we went through half of our shotgun shells before we defeated the approaching horde, at which point Gold confidently went for the armory upstairs. She's following you. Oh, come on. Uh, there's one more coming in. There's one more. You good there? Uh, maybe. Oh, fuck. I'm in trouble. I think I got them. I hope so. I, I got something. Somehow I ended up in the bathroom, which is less than ideal. We got lucky with more ammo and guns, and then we had a nice breakfast. All right, where's that bread? Oh, here we go. Slice it up. Let's make a sandwich. Actually, a burger. This might come up. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. He's looking for some bread. Sir? It's my bread. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got three cheeseburgers on me. Those sure they're move. making cheeseburgers? Those, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I made a cheeseburger, man. I got bread. I told you. It's the best shit ever. You want one of the burgers? I can give you no, one of the burgers. That scares me. <laughs> Why would you say that? But now we were in the city proper, so let me give you a bit of a backstory. Have you ever wondered what happens when you combine large human population, tightly packed streets, and a zombie apocalypse? The US military did and decided to experiment. They enclosed the city of Raven Creek with metal fence and barbed wire, and then they released the virus. But naturally, they fucked up. The entire population turned overnight, flooding the streets and overwhelming security checkpoints. Of course, the military denies any and all implications, but the evidence is still there. So that's why they decided to send in two expertly trained and very expendable soldiers. Us. Our mission to retrieve that evidence and get out. So we continued down the streets towards our first objective, the East Police Station, and unfortunately I was the one giving directions. I can't remember where the closest uh, police station is. No, no, no. We should have gone down, 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 down. Down this way. Down, down. Yeah. But while the streets were empty around the checkpoint, things soon turned for the worst. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. We're right next to a damn seven-story building. Ooh, all right, getting ready to go hot. Yeah, I was just smoking a cigarette, you know? Don't worry about it. I didn't want to shoot quite yet, but yeah. Now that the alarm is out, now we can shoot. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I jammed, oh, I jammed. Oh, God. Oh, police station. They found it? Oh, we found yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, Sprinter behind me! Fuck! I was, looking, <laughs> I was looking at the fucking police station. <laughs> that station was our goal and our salvation. But due to one or two very loud alarms and a lot of very loud shotgun blasts, we got encircled by the hordes and in the general confusion, we got separated. Time to reposition a bit. There's a couple around you. I don't know if you noticed. <coughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I used the fence near the gas station to funnel the Zeds, and when Ghoul found me, we made our stand there. After hours and hours of tough combat and zombies piling up at our feet, we were victorious, and it was time to celebrate. You know, I'm still gonna have my tomato and cheeseburger right now. <laughs> like, look at me, I actually am holding a burger in my hand. Oh, never mind, he ate it. We then unbarricaded the station gates and made it into the compound. There were still plenty of zombies inside though, so we had to be careful. We pushed into the station, tiptoeing around as much as one can tiptoe with a loud shotgun in their hands. We turned the corridors into blood red mush. Then it was time to loot. Ooh, uh, this police bag, it's right on the floor. It's got a box of 45 if you. Oh, yeah. If you Definitely want some. That. All right, I'm just going to check. Uh, you go check down here. I think it's evidence room, but still, if there's anything down there. I'm gonna check if there's some food back here, you know. We gotta gotta make sure. Oh dude, we hit pay dirt. We did? Oh we did. Oh we did. Tell me there's some shotgun shells in here. 
Canister of 12 gauge. Yeah, let's go. Dude, there's a ton of stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Very good, very good. We still had streets to clear, and we both shat our pants on multiple occasions trying to stand against the churning tide of the rotting dead. But deep in the dark of the night, we were at last victorious, and our new home was secure. Our next plan was to get some supplies. We hit the nearby gas station, and then this happened. Oh, the boy. What is that? I think that means there's gonna be an uh, air raid or something like that. Oh, shit. That siren then stuck with us for the next two hours, which brought the walkers out of their hiding. Ghoul grabbed the police vehicle, then we looted a Gigamart nearby. We also looted a VHS store. You got someone near right? Oh, Spurter! <laughs> I saw a shadow. God. And then Ghoul hotwired the big commando, which we both agreed would be perfect vehicle for our mission. And our first mission was finding a sledgehammer, so we drove further south to look for it in storage units. But naturally, the rotten tide wouldn't leave us in peace, so we had to fight for it. But let's be real, if the booty ain't worth fighting for, it's probably a flat booty. But soon we had a different problem. Like, we brought a lot of ammo with us to Raven Creek, it's just... Kind of, kind of used well, a we, bunch of it. Yeah, you had to use everything just to be able to get to where we are. We did use quite a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But while we didn't find a sledge, I found nine baseball bats, and when I added nails to them, it was a decent alternative for the ammo we were running out of. We drove further into town next, where we had to switch to melee. Now we're all gonna die. Holy shit! Do you see what this guy's got on his head? Huh. Turn around. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. The fuck. So. Got a new outfit. You are taking that off right now. <laughs> <laughs> then it was time to hit our second objective, the South Containment Zone. Were we ready for it? Nope. All right, out you go. <laughs> ah! Right next to a zombie. <laughs> he parked me right next to a zombie. That's how it goes. We used the very last of our shotgun shells to kite the moaning hordes up the road, and it was just enough to clear out the majority of Zeds at the entrance. But then we started switching to our melee weapons. Mm, just a couple. Don't worry about them. Need oh, sprinter on me, on me, on me, 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 My gun is empty. Jammed. I'm reloading. But in the end, our expertise prevailed, and we were victorious, so we could start looting, and I quickly grabbed a FAMAS and some 556 ammo. Alas, when I started blasting again, it was like I rang a dinner bell for the whole compound. It took us ages to clear a path back inside. Oh, shit. Did I actually just go through 150 rounds right then? <laughs> I, I bet you did. Good God. Hey, long blunt, level up. The fields around the army tents were pretty clear now, and we instantly started looking for ammo. But then, this happened. Oh. oh fuck off. When did they alarm tents? <laughs> Get out of here. You oh, can't shit. make this shit up. Alarm on a fucking my tent. <laughs> tent alarm went off. Naturally, it attracted plenty of attention to us again, and we pulled out to fight them in the clear. Another spreader! Please! Ah! Fucking Reno! <laughs> Just jumped the I... thing. <gasps> what is he doing? Fucking hell. Nice, nice, nice. About a million zombies pushed out of the encampment, and we used all of our newly begotten ammo to get rid of them. Ooh, we Fuck. got a, we got a mass coming through, huh? That's that fucking alarm, ten alarm. <laughs> 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 you can't make this shit up. Like, come on. Oh, I'm actually out of ammo apparently. So. Oh shit, me too. I got uh, some. Uh, Open up the boxes. I got some 556 for my famous. Ah! There's a lady behind me. Hello. Oh, hi. It was absolute darkness outside at this point, so we moved into the tents and started looting again, finding a lot of goodies. There's a minigun in here, by the way. <laughs> oh. Also, a canister of shotgun shells, dude. We explored the tents throughout the dark of the night, and when the morning finally arrived, we were ready to push further into the compound. There's... A lot in here, but I don't think they can get to us. We can get to them though. But in the name of fair play, we opened a way through for them and funneled the whole horde into a tiny corridor of death. We then looted the small armories in the barracks, loading ourselves up with as much ammo as we could possibly carry, and then this happened. Uh, that is definitely a helicopter. I hear a helicopter. I think we should be pretty safe in here. Famous 
last word. <laughs> but indeed, after a full night of constant murder, we were actually pretty safe. We brought the goods back to the commando and loaded it with enough ammo to carry us to our next objective. But naturally, that wasn't enough, so we quickly pushed back to check more barracks, where we found double grenade launchers and finally, some fresh water. Good shot. Just back in here, washing away. Oh, you're in here. You had a zombie inside. <laughs> Just, it was my patient. <laughs> I guess you're patient. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't do so well. And after getting through that giant battle without a single scratch, this happened. For sure. Oh, great. I, I fell. Nice. Scratch myself. <laughs> I'm carrying so much that I fell over the sandbag. So then we retreated back to our base throughout the busy streets of Raven Creek and stashed our loot. But now the Horde Knight activated, which meant our police station soon became flooded by the Walking Dead, who poured in like liquid manure out of an overzealous bank robber, and ghouls started acting weird. Ah, get off. <laughs> ah, get off. I would shoot them, but I'm reloading, so. Oh, good. Ah, Are you okay? Yeah. What was that? Reload. <laughs> oh, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. What's behind me? You're behind me. But we managed to fight them off and push them back to the streets. Ooh, there's a big fat boy there. See that one? No. Oh, oh yeah, look at him. Yeah, he's got his little, like the, the vest on. <laughs> yeah, like you wouldn't spot him otherwise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's for safety. <laughs> We then loaded up on as much ammo as we could possibly carry, then we hit the road again. And our next objective was the old prison. Probably the easiest of our goals because it was very isolated, but it had a strange quirk though. Why are there a ton of priests in the prison? <laughs> you don't want to know. I mean, I don't know ah. why you're asking such questions about... <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I'm pretty sure those are some things you do not want to know. Why is there so many fucking priests? Dude, that is hilarious. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, sprinter priest. He's down. Oh, now that's scary right there. After dealing with a priest menace, Ghoul found a precious gift. Hey, a little bit of ammo right here. Oh, sledgehammer! <laughs> oh, that's. I don't think I've ever heard you this excited. What, what is the chance of a random ass sledgehammer? We borrowed all of the ammo and other useful items, all the while fighting off men of cloth. And then we set our eyes on our next objective. All right, do you want to go straight for the uh, for that place? Oh yeah. Okay. Night time and all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what could possibly go wrong? I see no problems at all. We drove deep into the city and parked right outside of the downtown police station, where we soon found out what could go wrong. Oh, great. Oh, mother. That is what I like to hear. Uh, Sprinter? Sprinter on me, please. Uh, shit, I'm reloading. Reloading, reloading. Keep going, keep going. Just keep sprinting. Keep yeah, sprinting. Keep. I'm good, I'm good. There you go. Behind right, you, go. behind you. Oh, now we have a lot incoming, huh? That is a lot, yeah. And just like that, we were on the run. Cut down this little way right... Nope. Uh, go down the road. <laughs> so Leave it begins. Yep. But in fact, it was all about tactical repositioning. Ooh. Oh, I want to see the uh, sprinter on me, and I'm jammed. Please shoot oh, him. Oh, shit. Bad time. <laughs> all right. Did we get him? Nope. Yep. Now he's down. It's a fat sprinter as well, by the way, so... <laughs> Not like the slow sprinter. And while Ghoul has been pelting them with grenades, we were always encircled, no matter where we tactically repositioned. The explosions were a loud dinner bell for all the Zeds in the neighborhood, and as soon as we cleared the streets a bit, we triggered a whole new can of worms. Saw him. Oh. I'm jammed. Alright, got him. Jammed. Zombies behind you. I would say right. uh, we're gonna fight back to the uh, commando. Yeah, I would say this is not a very good situation. Ah, I got a sprinter, sprinter, sprint, 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 sprinter, 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 on me. Uh, just sprinter, let me, sprinter, just sprinter, let me reload. On me. <laughs> sprinter, sprinter, sprinter. 
they're down. We kited them back up the streets, feeling all confident about our chances, but we soon realized that overconfidence is indeed a slow and insidious killer. I will follow you in a second. I'm at the front of the police station. Ooh, Sprinter is on me. Back. Sprinter is on me. Ah, she's lunging on me. Uh, would you would you please take the Sprinter off me? Yep, yep, yep. Keep coming towards me. <laughs> oh shit, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Back to me. <laughs> Back to me. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, you, got her. you got her. Ghoul managed to pick me up and at last we had to admit defeat. Back at the base we loaded up on the ammo again and ate a nice meal then we went back for take two. Ghoul parked further away from the station this time around and we started our dance with fat sprinters. I like this one because it completely catches you by surprise. Like you, you're not expecting. When you're out of ammo, sprinter's gonna show up. Like, every single time. The hordes came at us with a vacant look in their eyes and a craving for cheap meat, just like American shoppers on a Black Friday. We pushed the walkers back to the police station where we made our stand as Zed poured out of the building. But soon, we made a breach and got in. I hate these transition points. Uh, do it, do it. <laughs> uh, zombie not right now, okay, please. Calm down. We fought through the narrow corridor searching for the goodies. Oh, let's... Damn, go. What'd you got? Uh, 12 gauge. Oh, okay. uh, and it was a single box. <laughs> I Thanks thought... for getting me excited. Hey, ammo. Yeah, what'd you find? Ammo, 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 well, that's the question. All right, there's a canister of shotgun shells over here. Well, we just need to. Oh, there's a there's a striker shotgun over here. Arm oh, striker shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a good one. Love that one. And we loaded our truck with as much as we could carry, then returned to the base. We stashed our loot, then returned to the city center to take a look at a survival base north of the downtown police station. We made our way in, clearing the failed survivors, which actually brought my aiming skill to level 10, and Ghoul shared his view on people. I mean, have you ever seen in any like zombie movie ever that a commune of people would survive? Yeah, it's it's never good to be around other people. And that's a, a simple fact. In zombie apocalypse or non-zombie apocalypse, you no, well, heard yeah, it here I mean, first. Either way, yep. Either way, that's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. If you didn't know, guys, Ghoul hates people. Yep. He basically hates you. <laughs> So subscribe now. <laughs> exactly. And indeed, you should check out Ghoul's channel. He's an expert on gunplay and has some amazing Project Zomboid videos for you. Link in the description. It took us a long time to clear all the zombies assaulting the compound, which made us both stressed. I just did a crossword puzzle that helped. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I just sat down and did a crossword puzzle while we're engaging. Amazing. My dude is feeling a little sad, so... That burn steak did not help anybody. We then explore the houses, grabbing all the useful ammo and weapons. Oh, go Come come, come in the back over here. I want to show you something. I don't know if you know this. This, this secret area back here. Just need to... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there was still glass in there, so I got a deep wound now. Well... <laughs> Good to know you. <laughs> you might be dead. I thought there was no glass there anymore. God damn well, it. Here we are, though. Ghoul stitched me up, but then the fog set in, and with it, another horde assaulted us. Come uh, on. sprinter while I'm reloading. Ghoul, I need oh, your help. Look. Yep, come on. Come keep sprinting. Keep sprinting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I well. heard that. I might be dead. Yeah, yep. he's down. Good. There was another one. He was hiding. Oh, sprinter um, on you. Oh, there's a sprinter. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Okay. Yeah, mixed uh, in with the crowd. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. We can close the doors if you need to. All right. You... All right. We're good. Ooh. They busted through that gate, but we stood our ground. Most of them got stuck on the windows, though. So we went upstairs to loot even more. And then we made our exit. Yeah. <laughs> Come down the stairs. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, they said. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Arr, that was not <laughs> the time to sprint. Alright, let's do it. 
go, 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 go. All right, I'm behind you. All right, go ahead. Yeah. All right, I think we can go Jam. in for the fence. It's Hop not it that over. tall. All right. All right. Hoof it, hoof it, hoof it, hoof it. You see, everything we did so far was made easier because there were two of us. And if you're also tired of playing Project Zomboy alone, why don't you join my community server? It's small and cozy and full of helpful people. So jump on my Discord to learn more and join us. As for Ghoul and I, we had one last objective ahead of us, breaking into the Raven Creek General Hospital complex. But first, we needed to defeat a base invasion. Jesus, I just remembered we have sprinters. <laughs> Here we go, like, the realization that that exists hit me, it hits me every time when we play this. I swear, it, it makes all the difference. I love it. And then it was time to roll. And I like it that we're doing this as the nighttime is approaching. It's, it's what we always do. Yeah, you know, worst time possible. It's raining. Raven Creek. This is the way. We wound through the narrow streets of Raven Creek like a geriatric snake on crutches, trying to make our way all the way to the other side of the city. I think we're getting closer. I think I know this store. Oh, we are definitely getting close. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that wax spike. How old did he know? Yeah, it might be my sixth sense, but I think we just got a lot closer. Racks and zombies didn't make our travels any easier, but luckily our vehicle packed a punch. Some bad news. <laughs> yes, you were saying. Oh, we're jammed in here pretty good. <laughs> Dude, now we would really need that turret. Oh, oh be... that works. Yeah, keep, keep shooting. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? There we go. Oh, that's not good. All right, we're just going to stage out here and just hoof it on in. We jumped out of the truck in a fenced area and started blasting. Loud bangs in a very crowded area might seem like a stupid idea to you, and that's because it is a stupid idea. Uh, behind? I have right, an empty, uh, empty clip. Oh, there, there's a couple more here. Oh, there's a couple more, and we left the sledge in the ground, huh? <laughs> I managed to recover the sledge, then we escaped down the street. Alright, if you can, sprint past me, because I'm going to start launching uh, behind us. Alright, alright, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, oh sprint you! Sprint. Get this better, get this better! <laughs> okay, I got her. There we go. <laughs> the problem is, the further we push, the more shit's going to be coming at us still. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> we shouldn't be in here, should we? Oh, absolutely. It's a bit close quarters. We're just wide open now. Keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, I'm coming. We broke free into the darkness and then tried to get out via a tall fence. Uh, I was going to use so much stamina to try this. Watch. Whoop. Did you make nope. it? Not even close, not even close. That's, that could be a problem. What's our uh, exit point if we need one? Uh, so we're just going to basically push straight back through again. All right. This oh, they're falling from the roof yeah, now. Yeah, we need to get away from this building. You mean every building in here? Ghoul used all of his grenades to clear the area, but when a huge crowd broke through, it was finally time to run. I Wait, am no, over. over. I'm over. I'm right, over. Cover me. Oh, fuck. You're supposed oh God, to jump. Super tired. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'm over. Okay. Rain, darkness, and thick forest didn't make traveling easy, so we just took a moment to recover. So when you said cover me, you said uh, smoke and reload, right? Yep. Do everything that you possibly can to not cover me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you're covering well, me, then I will smoke now. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me let me cover you. Hang on. <laughs> there. Okay, go. <laughs> I can still see you, you did not hide. <laughs> Once we were rested, we pushed a bit further through the forest and then went back over the fence. We should probably should hop at the oh. same spot. <laughs> I hear that. I yep. see blood. Right. Yeah, you're good to, to hop. Well, I least. hope I am. Oh, I jumped into zombies. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck. I am encircled. I'm running towards gunfire. Okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, keep coming. <laughs> If you went in the worst spot possible. Yeah. Right, I'm moving back into there, getting away from these trees. Oh, I just got sliced. Yeah, I got last rated. Uh, one sec. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'll cover you. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, <laughs> it was my hand, so. Yeah, it's not something that you need. 
Yeah. But that was only a minor setback, and we were finally ready to push deeper towards the hospital complex entrance. Or so we thought, because the streets turned into a real war zone, with not even a second of respite for both of us. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, coming to you. Are you up for jumping the fence again? And indeed, we had to exit the stage again. But this time around, zombies had access to us in the brush. Alas, with one more fence hop, we finally managed to lose them behind a giant mall. That path brought us directly to the hospital back door, and we decided to make our own entrance. We pushed in, meeting plenty of doctors without borders, or in this case, with a craving for brains. We used our silenced weapons for as long as possible, pushing towards the front doors of the complex. You know shit's about to go down where we're gonna start switching to non-silence weapons yeah <laughs> then it gets a little ugly oh yes then everybody and their mother is gonna hear we ran in and started blasting then we sprinted past the major hospital buildings hoping to avoid the brunt of the starving patients but soon we realized that there's no avoiding zombies in raven creek yep oh sprinter, 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 sprinter. got him got him thank you gun for not keep for not jamming all right. Oh God! There's this a is this is it. This is where it is. Not like this. Not like this. All right. I'm uh, I'm running in a circle. Keep running it. Keep running it. You're doing good. <laughs> no, I'm not oh, shoot not him. like this. <laughs> shoot him, Bill. Shoot him. I can't. I can't. It will. It won't let me target. I got through. I, I got through. Fences. I hid behind a tall fence, which confused the zombies to no end. But I was now trapped, and the aiming was bored, so I couldn't even properly shoot at them. I'm not sure if I. <laughs> If I want to jump. <laughs> oh, hey. What are they doing? I'm here. Uh, you're shooting right next to me now. But I can't shoot them out. Oh, this one nice. I could. I'm yeah, shooting the ones right behind here. you. <laughs> but with Ghoul's help, I was able to escape my prison. Are they hanging? Oh, shit. Okay, oh, yeah. they're moving. They're moving now. Where'd you go, by the way? Uh, went and checking the uh, ammo. Are, are you in the tent? They're yeah. all outside the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, what have you done to me? <laughs> we dealt with a horde and finally we felt safe again. But that didn't last more than a few seconds. Uh, 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 I <laughs> am not in a good spot, but that's fine. No, you're good. And because I was out of 556 five, ammo, I was forced to vault the fence once again. You will never get me, zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's so many around me. With only my trusty pistol remaining, I had to hop the fence multiple times in an attempt to clear out the horde. But then suddenly, this happened. Holy shit, go get in a fence if you can, the whole hospital has arrived. I just turned around, the whole hospital's here. What? Holy shit, they're all in one tiny corner next to me. Oh man. Oh yeah. Where you oh at? my god. Where are you at? You don't want to know. <laughs> so, uh, the, 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 the... Oh, I need a helicopter. <laughs> what do you mean you need a helicopter? Because everybody just arrived. I had more than a thousand zombies stuck in one spot while Ghoul was looting the tents, and I was pretty sure this was how it ends for me, especially when a tropical thunderstorm of the century hit us. Oh shit, I'm starting to get queasy because of all the corpses oh, around shit. me. Yeah, yeah. It's getting foggy, it's raining, it's dark, there's millions of zombies here. Dude, you're dead. <laughs> no, I'm not. Like, oh, no, you're 100% dead. There's no way. No, there is. I, I have a way out, dude. I have a way out. I went for it and sprinted for the next fence. And just like that, I was safe again and reunited with Goal. Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit. Did you, did you find my friends? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> At least maybe the uh, the. Oh, I see you. Yeah, 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 I see you running. Hey, okay, hey, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do not I go that direction. <laughs> I managed to find some ammo in a tent, while Ghoul blasted them with explosive outside. And then we were finally ready to stand our ground. A sprinter just went past me, and I'm not reloaded. Lady, 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 let me reload. Okay, got her. <laughs> Please shoot the sprinter on the ground. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, behind. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, in front as well. Oh! 
run, 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 no, no, don't trip, don't trip, go, go, go. Once again, we got separated and had to fight through a horde to connect again. Stressed and drenched, our superior training really paid off and it showed why the military sent us into Raven Creek on this delicate mission. We dispatched the majority following us and then we finally had a moment of peace to search the tents for more ammo. I don't think stealth's gonna help, uh, help us much. No, not at all. Did you go into the ah. tent? Yeah, go check in the next one. Oh, there's a zombie following you. As the night fell again, the storm at last dissipated, and we were no longer pissed upon by the gods. The lights were on, and we were finally able to breathe again. But then, this happened. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes. Are you kidding? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa, we're so fucked, man. The horde slowly started trickling in through the tents, but soon the trickle turned to a river, and Ghoul passed me the grenade launcher to deal with the problem. Oh, Sprinter on me. Sprinter on you. Jesus. Okay, let's move back. Let's move back so I can grenade launch this. So it goes by where your mouse is. Uh, run, Ghoul. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't Not see like you this. there. Hello. Not like, oh, also, no. I, I was looking at you and got scratched. <laughs> jump this fence. <laughs> jump this fence. Where'd you get hurt? Everywhere. Oh, no. that's, that's awesome. So what did we learn today, kids? <laughs> Don't play with grenade launchers. <laughs> I have no idea how he actually managed to survive that, but we were both alive and ready to deal with a horde that was still hot on our tail. Oh, oh. we have a lot down here. Oh, no, Is that you or that's alleyway. a zombie? That's that that's a zombie. That wasn't you. Oh hey! Don't go that way! <laughs> Do not go that way. We pulled them into the open where we had a clear line of sight, and slowly but surely we damned the tide of the moaning dead. <laughs> Speaking of Yeah. Oh yeah. Like we've been fighting for like two days straight almost. Yeah. I can't believe this gun is still going. That allowed us to break into the main supply tent, which was our goal all along. Ghoul explored it while I held the fort outside. Okay, <laughs> you out? Yeah, yeah. Shit, can I go uh, in now? I'm going no. in now. Yeah. Hang on. Okay, I'll take this lady. Ah. We looted that place for everything we could carry. Then it was time to exfil. Uh, let's go through the front entrance. Okay. I think that would be fun. But the front door was actually clear, so we must have done a good job inside. But getting back to our truck was not going to be an easy endeavor. Oh look, tall buildings and guns. I wonder My what favorite. could possibly happen here. And after we were stuck in that parking lot for an hour, Ghoul got a better idea. Get on! Are you sure that's safe? How do I yeah, get absolutely on? Absolutely get on. Okay, just taking my time. Whee. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Um, Did we just run out of gas? Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> Whee. This guy's gonna kill right, us. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh right, my god. Yep, that didn't get us far, so we just made a run for it. I saw that. <laughs> what? That right there? I hit nothing, to be honest. So that's a problem. Okay, that's all I got. All right. Do you remember where we parked? Uh, somewhere close. I <laughs> hope. Oh. Take a look at the map. We made it to our truck, and I expertly guided us back to our base. We're gonna take the next right. The next right. Next Le right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave this one. Yeah, we're not getting through there. <laughs> we're not getting through there. That's Jesus. So there's just one little wreckage. Oh, uh, there's more sprinters, huh? Uh, here we go, here we go. Look at that! Hey. See, I'll always be your navigator, man, whenever you need me. And just like that, our mission was complete. So, what did we learn today, kids? Gun rhymes with fun for a reason. Well... Well... Alrighty. It was good. It was good while it lasted. We survived. Easy Absolutely. money. Life's good in Raven Creek, and thanks for playing, dude. Yeah. <laughs>